morning, scholars, and happy Wednesday. We made it halfway through the week so far. I am so glad that you are here with me today. We're going to have an awesome time. We're going to read another version of The Three Little Pigs today. I wonder what version it's going to be. I bet you're going to love it once you hear it. Let's go hear what our story is going to be about and then hear our awesome story of the day. Let's go. Welcome, scholars. Remember this week we are studying fairy tales and fables. Let's remember some of the characteristics of a fairy tale. They have once upon a time. They have good and evil characters. They have a happy ending like they all lived happily ever after. They have the rule of three. And there's a problem that needs to be solved. Let's go do our fairy tale chant. I bet you remember it from the last two days that we've practiced it. Let's go see if you can do it with me and rock it out just as well as I can. Let's go. Let's try it again. Fairy tale chant, get ready, go. Fairy tales are stories that start with once upon a time and have good and evil characters and have a happy ending. Let's continue and look at some of the feeling words that we're going to feel in today's story. Let's go look at what the feeling word is going to be in today's story. It is hopeful. What does it mean, scholars, to be hopeful? You're right. In the picture, there's a girl with a thought bubble, and she's thinking about good things like toy cars and toy dolls and some candy and lollipops. And it says, when you believe that good things will happen. So maybe she's hopeful that she's going to get a toy or a prize. I have it in a sentence as well. I was hopeful that things will get better soon because everyone knows that right now we're doing school at home, restaurants and stores are closed, and I'm getting hopeful that things will get better soon. Maybe some stores will open soon, and I'm getting hopeful for that. Let's look at today's story. Today's story is the three little rigs. That sounds really similar to the three little pigs. Pigs, rigs, that rhymes, that rhymes. So the three little rigs, and those are construction vehicles. In today's story, similar to yesterday, I want you to compare and contrast how the books are similar and different from the book that we read yesterday and on Monday. So look at today's story and think about what's the same and what's different about the story from the last two books we've read already. Then I want you to think about why are the rigs hopeful? Lastly, as always, keep in your mind looking for characteristics of a fairy tale. I hope you enjoy The Three Little Rigs, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Enjoy! The Three Little Rigs, written and illustrated by David Gordon. The Three Little Rigs. There once were three little rigs who lived with their mama rig. She told them that the time had come for them to go out into the world and build their own garages. The first little rig went to a sawmill. He asked the loader for enough wood to build a sturdy garage. Make sure you use lots of nails, the loader said. The first little rig used his crane to place the wooden planks with the help of an air compressor and a nail gun. He made four walls, a roof, and a door. But the big, bad wrecking ball knocked on his door and said, little rig, little rig, let me come in. To which the little rig replied, not by the chrome on my chinny chin chin. This made the wrecking ball mad, so he said, then I'll crash and I'll bash and I'll smash your house in. You can try, said the little rig. So the wrecking ball crashed and bashed and smashed the garage to pieces. The second little rig went into the stone cutting factory. He asked the conveyor for enough blocks to build a sturdy garage. Make sure to use mortar, the conveyor said. The second little rig used his crane to place the stone blocks. A cement mixer helped him mix the mortar. He made four walls, a roof, and a door. But the big bad wrecking ball knocked on his door and said, Little rig, little rig, let me come in. To which the little rig replied, Not by the chrome on my chinny chin chin. This made the wrecking ball mad. So he said, Then I'll crash and I'll 
bash, and I'll smash your house in. You can try, said the little rig. So the wrecking ball crashed and bashed and smashed the garage to pieces. The third little rig went to the steel mill. He asked the pulley for enough beams to build a sturdy garage. Make good welds, the pulley said. The third little rig used his crane to place the steel beams. A welder helped him. But the big bad wrecking ball knocked on his door and said, Little rig, little rig, let me come in. To which the little rig replied, Not by the chrome on my chinny chin chin. This made the wrecking ball mad, so he said, Then I'll crash, and I'll bash, and I'll smash your house in. You can try, said the little rig. Scholars, why might the little rigs be hopeful? So the wrecking ball crashed and bashed and crashed and bashed, but he couldn't smash the garage to pieces. I'll be back, said the big bad wrecking ball. Then the third little rig heard the honking of his brothers outside his door. He was very glad to see them. Together they would come up with a plan. Later that night, the big bad wrecking ball returned with the mean magnet and a cruel cutter. Little rig, little rig, let us come in, they said, to which the three little rigs replied, Not by the chrome on our chinny chin chins. Then we'll crash and we'll bash and we'll smash your house in. Wait, shouted the third little rig as his brother snuck out of the back door. Save us, they cried to the cranes. The wrecking ball began to swing, the magnet began to pull, and the cutter began to cut at the third little rig's garage. Suddenly, the cranes lifted the dangerous three high into the air. Then the three little rigs and the cranes drove to the steel mill together. There, the big bad wrecking ball, the mean magnet, and the cruel cutter were thrown into the melting pot. Then the three little rigs all lived happily ever after. Welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed the three little rigs, especially the gentleman. I bet the gentleman really liked that I chose a fun construction book for all of us to read today. So in our story, what were some of the similarities or differences? Remember, we're, we are comparing and contrasting the three little pig stories this week. So what was something that was similar about this story than the other stories that we've read so far this week? Yeah, the rule of three. So there were three things. There was three rigs instead of three pigs. So that's something that's similar. And then there was a really bad character. Remember, there's a problem that they are destroying their homes. So that's also something similar. Their homes are being destroyed. What are some of the differences? Yeah, they're not really pigs, are they? They're rigs. Yeah, that's big and obvious. And then there's a big wrecking ball. And in this story, the wrecking ball brought friends to help them destroy the last house. He brought all those extra friends to help him. But at the end, they solved their problem and all the bad guys melted in a big melting pot. So those are some big differences from this story than the other stories that we've read. Why were the rigs hopeful in the story? Yeah, they got their materials to make a nice sturdy house and they thought their houses were nice and strong and sturdy. They were hopeful that their homes were going to be safe from the wrecking ball. But it wasn't safe, was it? No. The wrecking ball still was able to smash their houses down, even though they were hopeful that their houses were going to be strong and sturdy. That's sad for the poor rigs, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you catch on to some of those elements or characteristics of a fairy tale? Yeah, we had the three character, and we had the three houses that were built. Very good. And there was a big problem that needed to be solved. Yes, scholars, picking up on all those things. Very proud of you. I love that. Before you go, scholars, please click the link below. I would love to see your thoughts on this story, and I always love seeing your responses to all of the read-alouds. So click the link, and I cannot wait to see your responses. I'll see all of you amazing people tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.